Hello everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome to episode 18.2 of creating a space shooter with Godot. So we have our heads up display here set up and we have a way to set the number of life icons that are going to appear on the screen. So how can we get this life variable from our player to appropriately coordinate with our heads up display here? For that we are going to use custom signals. So first of all, we need a way to have a signal that can be used by multiple classes, our player and our heads up display and anything else, that doesn't rely on the actual instance of the player or heads up display itself. In other words, we need to make a global custom signal. So I'm going to right click on my resources folder in the file system and I'll create a new folder and I'm going to call this auto loads. This is going to be for all of our auto load scripts. So I'll right click that and create a new script and I will simply call this script signals, like so, and I'll click create. Now if we open up our signals.gd script that we just created, you'll see that it extends node, and we are going to make this a singleton, meaning it can be used anywhere in our game. And you do that by auto-loading this script. So go up to the project tab at the top, go to project settings, and click the auto-load tab. Here it'll ask you to browse for a script, so we'll go into my autoloads folder and click the signals.gd script. You can give it a name, I'm just going to keep it as signals, and click add. What this does is it says to Godot, whenever your game starts, the second your game starts, have this signal script already loaded and make sure it stays loaded throughout the entirety of the game. So this script will always be in our scene tree no matter what. And we're also making it a singleton, meaning this script is going to be essentially accessible from anywhere. It creates a signals object automatically for us. You'll see how to use this in just a moment. So in our signal script here, after we've made it auto-loaded in our project settings, and we are going to create a custom signal. We're going to do that by typing the signal keyword and typing on player life changed. And that'll take in one parameter being the current life that the player has. So how can we use this signal in our signals class? Well, if we open up our player.gd script here, and we go down, whenever the life of our player changes, which happens in our damage function, rather than printing this stuff out, like printing player life or printing player died, we will simply emit that signal. That way anything listening for whether or not the player's life changes will get notified. We're going to do that by typing signals and that will get the singleton instance of our signals script and that's doable because we auto loaded that script. So we'll do signals dot emit underscore signal and you'll see we have our on player life changed signal. And remember that takes one parameter it's going to be the current life of the player so we'll pass that along just like so. So this is basically our player sending a text message to everyone listening on this signal that our life has changed to this value right here. Now we have to have someone listening for this and that is going to be our HUD. So if you go into your HUD.gd script at the top of the ready function here, let me delete this set lives that I added in the last episode, we are simply going to do signals dot connect and this means we want something to be listening to a particular signal that we've made in our signals script class in this case our on player life changed so we'll do signals dot connect and we're gonna pass in the signal name that we want to listen to in our case on player life changed and then we have to pass in the object that is going to be listening in that case it's ourself it's this heads up display itself and then we need the function name that is going to be handling this, the actual thing that will be called whenever this signal happens. Now I like to name my functions the same thing as the event name, but with an underscore in front. So we have to create a function here that matches whatever you put in this last parameter, on player life changed. So at the bottom I'll create a function, underscore on player life changed, and remember that takes in some life that's an integer value. And we will simply call our set lives function that we have with whatever is passed in. So whenever our player gets damaged, whenever its life changes, we send a message to everyone on player life changed and we pass it the new life as the parameter. And that signal is defined in our signal script. This script is loaded once and it's always available to us. So we have a custom signal life changed with one parameter called life. Then our heads up display, whenever it's ready, says, hey, I want to listen 
to this event in the signals class on player life changed I'm gonna be the one listening this is self right here and this is the function that I have that I want you to call so this function will be called with that life parameter whenever the player's life changes and we'll just call our set labs function which actually changes our little hbox container in our heads-up display here it'll actually add the appropriate life icons so if we run the game you'll see that we don't actually have anything up there so that's one issue but if we get damaged once you'll see we have two lives damaged again we have one life damaged a third time we have zero lives so it's almost working it's just it's not set up correctly when our game first starts well the whole issue here is our player whenever it's ready its ready function is called but it it's never damaged it never actually sends a message to anyone saying that the player's life changed so the HUD here it cleared out all of its lives that's why we saw nothing on the screen and then it never received a message to set the number of lives so in our player at the top of the ready function we are simply going to go ahead and write signals dot emit signal on player life changed and we'll pass it the current life of the player which starts out as three so now if we run the game well we still see nothing and why is that let's take a closer look in our gameplay here our player actually is ready before the heads-up display is ready so the player emits this signal but the heads-up display is never connected to actually listen to that signal yet so one way we can fix this by having this on player life changed in the ready of the player is to go into our gameplay and simply have the HUD come before the player because if the HUD loads first then it's going to connect or essentially subscribe to, to this message then the player will be ready and it will emit this signal and the HUD will already be listening for it so simply by moving the HUD before the player we should hopefully be able to see our lives at the very start of the game if we get damaged it works and all of that so we are slowly having our game shape up to be something pretty cool thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next episode